Today's video is all about what I do before I sleep. This is how I plan for tomorrow today. By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to plan your day for tomorrow so that you can have a more productive day. Welcome back to Completely Karen. I'm Karen and I'm so glad that you're here. Make sure and hit that subscribe button so that you can keep up on all of my weekly videos. So in today's video, I am telling you my nighttime routine that I do before I sleep so that I can have a very productive tomorrow when I wake up. I have been using this nighttime routine for years. I work two jobs basically full time. I'm a full time mom and I like to have a social life, but I also like to be really productive in my day because they're pretty busy and I bet your days are very similar. So I'm going to tell you what I do at night so that you can help plan for a more productive tomorrow. Here are my five evening steps before I sleep so I can plan tomorrow today. First thing I do is I clean up my kitchen. I know this sounds silly and weird, but I really like to have a clean kitchen. It makes me not feel frenzied. It makes me not feel chaotic. And especially first thing in the morning, if I wake up to like a sink full of dishes or a countertop that's dirty, it really just makes me anxious. <laughs> and so I like to make sure that all the dishes are out of the sink and they are in the dishwasher and the dishwasher is set to turn on in the middle of the night because I really like it to turn on when I can't hear it. This makes it so when I wake up in the morning, I feel like everything is clean and organized. The kitchen is kind of like where everybody congregates in the morning and I like it to be clean. I feel like I have a clean slate and I really just like that feeling in the morning. So that is one of my nighttime routines is I make sure that my kitchen is clean. Step number two, I like to set out my clothes for the next day. Now for me, this probably isn't exactly what it sounds like. I work from home and so I don't have to get up and get ready and go to the office or go to the gym or whatever that is. But I do sit down at my desk first thing in the morning, starting at about 4 a.m and I get cold sitting at my desk. Even in the summer, if the air conditioner is on, in the winter, if it's cold and the heat hasn't quite turned on yet, even if the heat's on, I still get cold. So I usually set out some kind of sweatshirt or cozy sweater or cozy socks or slippers or anything that is going to just help me stay warm at my desk. I put it next to my bed so that I can grab it really easily on my way down to my office. Now it might be different for you. Maybe you do have a job outside of the home or maybe one of the things that you do first thing in the morning is you go to the gym. Set those clothes out so that you're ready to go in the morning. You won't feel like you have to go through everything and figure out where you're going to wear or find your workout clothes and oh man, where did I put my tennis shoes and what am I gonna do now? I'm running late, blah, blah, blah. Just have it ready so that you can put it on and go. Step three before I sleep is I put out my planner or my schedule so that it is exactly where I'm going to see it first thing in the morning. For you, that might be your kitchen counter or your dining room table. For me, it is right on my desk because that is where I go first before anything else. Before I even check my phone or do anything, I look at my schedule, I plan out my day, and I really think about the things that I want to get done during the day, and those go down on my schedule very first. So to have that ready for me and waiting, I set it out on my desk so that I know where it is and it's ready and I don't have to go searching for it. I don't have to wonder, oh man, where did I put that? It's just ready, it's waiting for me. So when I wake up at four in the morning, it's right there and I can sit down and start my day. Now, if you wanna know more about my morning schedule, you can click the title card up here because I have a video about everything that I do in the morning to make for a really productive day. Step four before I sleep, I'm gonna plug in my phone before I head to bed. If you are a snooze button hitter, you are going to want to physically get out of bed and turn off your alarm so that you're out of bed and you stay out of bed. If it's right next to you, you're just gonna turn it off right then. So make sure and plug it in, not close to you, so that you can get a good night's sleep and wake up ready to start the day at the right time. So make sure and plug your phone in somewhere not close to you. Step five before I sleep, I like to read. I like to take just maybe five, 10, sometimes 15 minutes, depending on how tired I am, to read in bed, to kind of calm my mind and really just get me ready for a good night's sleep. It helps my mind calm down. It helps me relax and get cozy in my bed. And it just makes for a really nice end of the night activity that I can do to prepare for the next day. So this is my before I sleep routine so that I can plan my tomorrow today. Leave me a comment below and let me know what your tips are before you sleep that you like to do to help 
plan for a more productive morning. Comment below so I can connect with you down there. Now you know exactly what to do to plan your day the night before so that you can have a very productive morning. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time on Completely Karen. Remember to be diligent, be badass, and most of all, be you. Mm -hmm.